Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on finding evidence-based practice research using PubMed clinical queries. I'm going to show you how to use the PubMed clinical query search engine to locate evidence-based practice research relevant to nursing and allied health interests. PubMed clinical queries is a specially designed search interface within PubMed that allows you to efficiently locate evidence-based research articles within the database. Why search PubMed for evidence-based practice research? While the primary focus of PubMed is the research literature of biomedicine, it does cover some nursing and allied health journals in its indexing. And some nursing and allied health research is published in biomedical research journals. So it's worth including in any search for evidence-based practice research. To perform a PubMed clinical query search, locate and click the clinical queries link under PubMed tools on the PubMed main page. There it is right there, fourth link down, clinical queries. Go ahead and click it. It will navigate us to the PubMed Clinical Queries search screen. Enter your search terms in the search box and click the search button. For our example, let's assume I'm trying to locate best evidence regarding knowledge transfer at nurse care transitions. So I'll type in the terms transfer and the phrase nurse transitions. So I'll type in the terms transfer and nurse transitions and click the search button to initiate the search. Clinical queries will display search results in three columns, each representing a separate broad search category. Clinical study categories, systematic reviews, and medical genetics. So far as evidence-based practice is concerned, only the first two columns need concern us. Clinical study categories ostensibly cover content with a primary experimental study design, such as randomized controlled trials, case control, and cohort studies, etc. In reality, however, there is overlap between the clinical study and the systematic review categories, and it is not unusual to find the same reference appearing in both columns. Theoretically, the systematic reviews category should only cover the secondary literature of reviews, systematic reviews, meta-analyses, and metasyntheses. But again, there is overlap, and you will find the occasional randomized control trial reference in this column as well as in the clinical studies column. That's okay. What's important is that these two columns collectively render the evidence-based literature of this database accessible to you. Within clinical study categories, you can adjust results by toggling two additional menu options, the category facet and the scope facet. The category facet subdivides clinical study categories into five broad research areas, etiology or causation, diagnosis, therapy, prognosis, and clinical prediction guides. Switching between them will give you references with a different research focus. The scope facet allows you to tailor the breadth of your search strategy. The broad search strategy uh, will search the database comprehensively for clinical studies. If you want to locate absolutely everything available on your topic, this strategy will do it. You will retrieve the maximum possible records for your research, but you will also have to contend with a large number of, of irrelevant search returns. Or the narrow strategy provides a sharper focus on the topic relevance of search results. Retrieval is typically smaller than what is produced with a broad strategy, but there are fewer irrelevant search returns. The initial uh, search results screen displays only a sampling of retrieved results. Uh, click the See All links for clinical study categories or systematic reviews to examine the complete list of references. So now I've clicked the See All link and I'm looking at the clinical study categories. Looking at the display settings, I can see that the results are currently being displayed by the date the records were added, sort by recently added. I'm going to change that by clicking the display settings link above results. Selecting the relevance facet, I'm going to select the relevance facet from the sort by menu and click apply at the apply button. Okay, so now I've relevant sorted my returns. I can also limit to articles published in the last five years by clicking the five years link under the publication dates in the, the show additional filters uh, column on the right. So if I click five years, that takes me down from 18 to 11 records. Frequently authors of evidence-based research will indicate the study design in the title or subtitle of the article. The first reference in our list indicates its study design in the title. Systematic review on the transfer of information during nurse transitions and care. The next two indicate their study design or publication type in the subtitle. Concept analysis or consensus statement. Uh, consensus statement review. But many articles do not make their study design so explicit. For these, we will need to examine their mesh terms and abstracts for clues. So for, the, for articles uh, 6 entitled The Care Plan provides no indications of study type in its title or subtitle. And looking through its mesh terms, 
Okay, looking through its mesh terms, click open that box to have a look. Looking through its mesh terms, there is again no indication of a steady design. But if we look at the abstract, the authors tell us in the fourth sentence, we conducted a systematic review of the literature and summarized 21 randomized control trials. We can see that this article is also a report of a systematic review. PubMed doesn't provide a lot of free full text, but there is some. Where it is available, this will normally be indicated in the top right corner of the abstract or individual record or below the article in the results display. If you cannot access the full text of the article through PubMed, copy down the complete article citation and try looking it up using Journals by Title Search on the library page. If you cannot locate the article using Journals by Title Search, we probably do not have full text access to the journal. In this case, you will need to request the article through Iliad Interlibrary Loan Request System. In this tutorial, we have reviewed the procedure for finding evidence-based research using PubMed clinical queries. A clinical query search involves navigating to the clinical query search engine in PubMed, entering and searching keyword terms, scanning results for topic relevance and study design, and locating the full text either in PubMed or through journals by title search or requesting through Iliad Interlibrary Loan. This concludes our session. If you have questions on about any issues raised in this tutorial, please contact me. My email address is michaelskinner at uttadler.edu, and my business phone, my office phone, is 903-566-7165.